Jake, Jake, come outside. Bamboo's bleeding. Becky just ran in the house. Told me bamboo was bloody on the front. I don't know what's going on here. So where were you at when you saw bamboo? So I came out to dump compost. I just glanced over and saw that bamboo had just a bloody neck and was kind of rubbing against the fence and stuff. So I just immediately ran inside and got you and wanted you to just come out and just check everything out because I had no clue what was going on. I think bamboo's over there. Bamboo, you all right, bud? Does anybody look like they got blood on them? What did you think happened? I have no idea. It just was, I was scared that he was, you know, really hurt. Do you think the girls did it or do you think a predator got him? I had assumed that the girls had done it because it was in the middle of the day. I don't think a predator would have gotten him. I noticed yesterday they were kind of picking on him, so I don't know what, what the deal was. Picking on him how? Just kind of chasing after him and pulling his feathers out. On his neck or somewhere else? Somewhere else. I didn't notice the neck. He's been rub he's rubbing like crazy on the fence though. He normally doesn't do that. All right, so we've got bamboo put up here in the house. I'm not sure what's going on, but it seems like he's just rubbing his neck. Raw against the fence, not sure why. Times when I wish an emu could talk to us because man, he's just rubbed his neck completely raw. I don't see that this is an injury from the others. Sure seems like he just did this on his own, just rubbing against the fence. What's going on, Bamboo? He's breathing heavy, but he's been panic running back and forth, so he's probably just stressed out. And I think he's causing some of his own problems here. Even though it's red and looks bloody here, it's it's dried. All his feathers are rubbed off his neck. What's wrong, bud? Man. So we have some poultry wound spray we're gonna try here. All right, you wanna try to, I mean, he's still gonna like roll up and down the fence, so we're gonna have to leave him in here for a bit. But, leave him in here. But we can try to make a separation to figure something out. Let him chill in there for a little bit. He's got food and water in there. Let me see if we can make a separate area here. Wow, that first one is 10 times heavier than this. All right, we're working on separating the yard in half here. We're gonna have the two girls on one side and then we're gonna have bamboo on the other. We're gonna give him the house. It sounds like a divorce. Have them on the side of the pool so they have more water. We're gonna give him the house and then we'll give him water and he'll have the food inside the shelter. Even if they didn't do it, we don't want Bamboo to be stressed. All right. Just give him his own area to recover, heal up. So that side, there you go. We've got both of the girls over here, Peekaboo and Cashew, and they've got cattle panels down there, all the way across here, and they've got water, they've got food. So we've got the shelter here for bamboo, we've got them in there, we've got water and the food inside. All right, bud? 
Stay in here and recover, and we'll check on you in a little bit, okay, bud? Okay. Bye. We'll let him rest. Come check on him later. There's a new day that will come again tomorrow. There's a new day to wash away the pain. away your sorrow and the old ways get washed out by the rain darling you've got to keep holding on through the night cause I promise you Boy, are these guys lucky the emus aren't here. I just came to check on bamboo today and one of the turkeys is in the emu yard. Well, they're doing all right. Let's see what's going on with bamboo. Could have been being picked on. The front seemed like it was just rubbing its skin. So. Here, you want to get up? This looks like a little dried up. It's kind of all this stuff mm -hmm. added on there as protection, I suppose. I wonder if I should put some hay down or straw. Can you get up and walk around and you get some hey. water and food? So the girls did this to him. Oh. They might have done it. He might have just done it rubbing its fence, we're not sure. There you go. Okay, it's the first time he sees the girls on the other side here. We'll see what he what he does. What I don't want to see is him rubbing up against its fence again. So I think that had a lot to do with him causing that own injury to himself. So we have some more of this shade cloth right here. This is the shade cloth we used on the outside, the front part, to give them some shade throughout the summer that they can go in the afternoons, they can go against that fence. And we're trying to find some way to keep them from rubbing up against this side right here. He seems to be trying to find a way out right there. I'm not sure why. So we think if we can cover this up with the shade cloth here on this side, be some kind of, create a barrier between him, his neck, and this fencing to rub against. We finished the shade cloth yesterday afternoon and it's actually been working really well. He doesn't come over here and rub against this corner now that he doesn't see this fence. And we just haven't had the issues against the rest of the fence like we did with that corner where he would rub his neck dry or cause himself to bleed because of that corner. You're looking way better today, bud. Sure is weird to see him without feathers here. But I like to see that it's right. dried up and it's starting to scab over so hopefully he can start the healing process and grow some new feathers here. I can call this one old winter. What do you want to call them? Oh. Oh. She has like a different kind of hair. It's like crazier than this. This one is not biking. Him likes to be hold. Blaze is looking amazing. Mm-hmm. All of his coloring in. He's getting his neck feathers in. And there's one of the pheasant babies just about a month old. All right, well, we're starting to see some good news with bamboo. So the bleeding has stopped. Now we just need some feathers to grow back in. It's way hot out here. So we need to start getting them some shade. Also want to get them a shade. We do want to build them an area that'll be parallel to this right next door. And we can eventually put peekaboo in there. And then we can have cashew and bamboo here as a mated pair. 
but for now we're gonna have to put a shade in that corner and then one over here. So we're starting to dig a hole for a post and then we'll hang this old shade cloth that we used to keep over our uh, gazebo at our old house. You like how it turned out? Yeah, it looks great. Reminds me of our old house. I love how docile he is with out the girls in here. I don't know, he just like reminds me of when he was um, when he was younger, just more cuddly. Like he just Good wants girl. us to Good come girl. and pet him and hang out with us. But he's a little more wild and on edge when the girls are around? I feel like he is. And we are always on edge with them. They always seem to peck us way more than he does. So where do we go forward from here? So the plan is to let Bamboo heal for him to recover to get his feathers back here on his neck. I would like to put Cashew back in with him so that they can be a pair. They can have eggs this winter and then he can sit on those eggs. And I think from now on, we would just keep Peekaboo out of here just so there's not any fighting between the two. Why Cashew over Peekaboo? Cashew, everything about her build is, is right. She's a, a dominant female. Peekaboo's got some issues with her legs and so that's not something we want to breed or to pass on to future generations. But as soon as we can get another area built next to this or somewhere else right around here so she can still see them, communicate with them, but then she can't be in with them to cause any fighting. But the three of them as an emu mob will never happen again. If it had gotten worse and Bamboo had died or just gotten severely injured, how would you feel? I've been really sad. I raised him from a baby. He was in our house. He's, he means a lot to us. This is not the 